Hello, and today we'll be refinishing this lovely bathtub here with Rust-Oleum's tub and tile refinishing kit. There are just a few items you'll be needing, um, such as a cleanser and some sandpaper. You want a few other things, such as a brush and or a roller, as well as some latex gloves and a and a nice ventilation mask. I promise you that one. You'll certainly want to make sure there's plenty of ventilation in the room. Um, I'm using obviously my ceiling ventilator here in the bathroom and a window fan on exhaust. And here is that lovely pink bathtub that I will be actually turning into a pure white you can use pretty much any cleaner that you want to, but I certainly recommend Comet. Um, it was actually high, highly recommended in um, other reviews that I had saw. Um, after using it, it actually worked pretty well. And you'll want to get pretty much every corner of this tub to make sure everything is spotless. The next thing you'll want to do is to sand down the tub so the paint has traction. I definitely recommend removing the fixtures here, but in my case, it, was, it actually benefited me more to just tape around them. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you're tub is 100% dry. Uh, I had a little drip here from the faucet so I had to go over it a couple times and get it dry again and ultimately I just decided to wrap it up in a plastic bag and rubber band. So the kit itself comes in two parts. You have the base and you have the activator. You're gonna want to stir these up prior to mixing them. And when you do mix them, you're going to want to make sure you stir it very well. As you can see here, the first time I started to use it, it was pretty runny. So I actually went back and started stirring it up a little more to make sure it was mixed well. And you'll want to make sure you get all of these runs brushed up. Otherwise, they're going to leave marks. And you're just going to basically want to get around every place you can't fit a roller. In your case, you're probably going to want to tape around this floor here, but that floor is coming up very soon. So when I get to the larger area, you just start using this foam roller. And at first it worked pretty well, uh, but the problem was it didn't hold up very good. And it started to fall apart, leaving little pieces inside the paint. So I ended up using a brush for a majority of it. So unless you can find a high quality roller, I recommend using a brush as well. So this paint does go on pretty well. You don't have to put uh, too much effort into getting it on there. It, it grabs pretty well and it covers pretty well. Um, I did two coats as recommended and they look quite good. And here is the end result. Going from that dark pink tub I had to this nice bright white one here. I have to say it looks pretty good. So I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the final results. I, I really like the way it turned out. Um, only time will tell that 
if this paint's gonna hold up or not, but my first impressions are pretty good. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, that's it for me. Thank you for watching and have a good day.